Hey guys, John Martini here to show you Olympic and 3DS Max. For those of you who are not familiar with Olympic, it's a universal file format for computer graphics and it is used by the visual effects and animation industries. It allows assets to easily be shared between artists, studios, and across different applications. Olympic was originally developed by Sony Pictures Imageworks and Lucasfilm as an open source library. I'll introduce you guys to Olympic and 3DS Max and show you how to use it as well as some of its benefits. To begin, I'll go over the controls for Olympic using this animated character we have here along with this camera, each which are around 120 frames long in animation. To use Olympic, I'll first export just the geometry. So I'll select all my geometry here. And with the geometry selected, I'll go to File, Export, and Export Selected, and choose our file format. And then I'll give it a name, we'll call it Animated Walk Cycle, VO1, and then hit Save. First, we will see the file format options here. We can choose between HDF5 and Agawa. In short, Agawa is the more modern format of choice as it's faster and smaller in file size compared to the older HDF5 format, but both are available for use. In this case, I'll stick to the default Agawa. Next, we have cache time range. So if you're exporting a static node such as a camera, a point helper, or even geometry, you would use single. In this case, I'm exporting an animated mesh so I'll select range and specify the desired range which will be 0 to 120 and then hit OK. In order to use our exported file we need to import it. To do this I'll open a fresh max file and go to file import. I'll then select our cache file animated walk cycle 01 and hit open. Next we are shown the import options. We are supplied with some very basic options here. We can import to scene root which for now we will leave as default. Next we can fit time range which will adjust the timeline to match that of the incoming file. The other option is import and start at current frame which means it will simply import and start any animation at the current time slider position. For this demo, I'll choose import and start at current frame, and then hit OK. And then hit play, and here's our animated walk cycle. You'll notice the playback performance works great. Another great benefit to using Olympic in 3ds Max is file size reduction. If we go back and look at the file size, of the character with the rig and all the geometry, it's around three megabytes. Now if I save this new file, and we'll call it Olympic cache file, we'll see the file size difference is much smaller, 300 kilobytes. If you're wondering why the file size is so much smaller, it's because most of the information which was previously stored inside of the 3ds Max file, as seen in this file, is now stored externally in an Olympic cache file. Olympic is expanding each and every day. As mentioned before, Olympic supports various types of objects such as cameras. I'll close the current max file which is showing our cast an cached animation. So we'll go to file reset and we'll go back to our rigged file now if we go back into our original file here, we'll export out the camera. So we'll go to File, Export, Selected, and we'll do Camera 02. Hit Save. We'll do a range, 1 to 120, and hit OK. And while we're in here, we'll export a new animation for our character. So we'll change his animation from a walk to a run. So we'll select all the geometry and go File, Export, Selected, and we'll overwrite the previously saved cache file. We'll hit Yes, and do the same thing. 1 to 120, and hit OK. 
And then we'll go into the fresh max file and open our previously saved Olympic cache file. And you'll notice when I reopen the file, our saved cache file, the animation has automatically been updated with the newly exported cache, which is the run cycle. So we'll go to file, import, and we'll bring in our camera. And we'll make sure our time slider is at frame zero. And hit OK. And then go into the camera view and hit play. Olympic is a very powerful tool and will allow you as a user to easily create assets and distribute them as needed. You can use Olympic to interchange files across various programs such as Maya and Max, as well as throughout the entire pipeline. I hope you enjoy Olympic and 3ds Max.